Well, I'm not sure if it's the best watercolor exercise ever, but it's certainly a very useful one and a lot of fun to do. And if you do it consistently, you will not only get better at mixing your colors and understanding your pigments, but also train your brush control. I've got this exercise from an artist called David Millard, who left us this wonderful book, The Joy of Watercolor, and it's called The Color Chickens. Instead of painting boring grids to swatch your colors, those little chickens are way more fun to do and we'll also use um, a little bit of our dexterity along the way. So let me show you how it's done. So I recently bought this new pigment from Holbein. This is the perfect opportunity to swatch some colors. Put a good fat dollop up there. For my brush I'm going to use my golden maple um, sable brush. So I've mixed quite a creamy consistency here. I want to get enough pigment when I do color swatching. It's got to be quite strong and intense. And I'm going to start with the head and a little bit. Just like that. I'm gonna paint these first couple of chickens a little bit bigger than I usually would for color swatching, just so you can see it a bit better. And I'm using quinacridone rose for my second color, and I'm starting at the tail so that I've got some pure pigment to go around the bottom, and then I'll mix it into my first color. And depending on the combination of colors, you may have to go in with a bit more of the first color just to make sure that we have a nice blended area because that's what we're trying to find out is how do the two colors mix together. For the second one I'm going to start off again with yellow making sure my pigment is nice and creamy and my brush is nicely loaded and then start with the neck and then pop on a little head and this one I'm going to mix it with ultramarine blue just to see what kind of green I'm going to get. Start with the tail, come around the bottom and then mix it in with the first color. See that didn't quite match up, so no problems. Just add a bit more yellow and the legs. And in essence, that's all there is to painting color chickens. But if you want to get real fancy, you can add a third color. I'm going to add a tiny bit of cadmium red light there just to make the chickens look a bit more like chickens. And here's a time lapse of what it looks like when I do the actual color swatching with those little chickens. I'm using my yellow and just mixing it with every color that I generally use in my palette just to see what kind of mixes I can get and then write down the pigments. And not only can I see the colors it's mixing but also how the two pigments interact with each other. And I'm loving that indigo there at the bottom and a neutral tint. And there we go. That's my color chart for Imidazoline Yellow by Holbein.